Good morning everybody, my name is Osa and we are playing Farming Simulator 22 on Maple Farm and we are up at the house at the moment. I have passed time very quickly. We're now on the last day of March and uh, yeah, that's, that's the hedge I placed to uh, repair the gap that appeared. Unfortunately you can't walk through it and it does look markedly different from the uh, hedges you can cut down. So I might look into uh, replacing all of those hedges with placeables just so that it looks consistent around our yard. This is our canola which is um, doing things. It'll be a while before that's ready. Um, yeah, I was thinking we were going to start in March and uh, get on with some uh, seeding. Unfortunately, most of the crops I'm inclined to seed um, don't actually uh, hit planting season until April. So we're... Um, Gonna miss out on that for a bit. However, we have been shopping. There's been a lot of interesting stuff come up on the um, store sales over winter, um, which caused great anguish as I was trying to figure out should I buy it or not. I think beginning of December there were some harvesters came up this one um, at about a hundred and sixty thousand sort of oh that's just the sort of harvester summies I'm looking for and then the following month that came up which is a little bit big for what I'm looking for, but again, about 240,000. So it's sort of, oh, if only. Um, now there's nothing on sale, so. Does that one come with. Yeah, it comes in red and green. That's cool. Okay, anyway, um, so that was that. Um, however,. A toe behind sprayer came up and I figured yes I'm gonna want one of those because they carry more um, liquid fertilizer so we could make do with that and come a long way um, I think I've topped up those a little bit but quite frankly it's gonna take a ton of time to do that I'm not sure if the grass is ready you know grass is not ready and that field needs to be planted with something arable. So as I said, we did buy the sprayer. Um, I need to jump into the tractor. I think we're going to put the pallet forks on this. So, why do we have so little money after waiting so long to the best time to sell our barley, our wheat and our oats? Um, I decided to buy the grain mill. So, buying the grain mill took a load of money. And I'm kind of a little bit disappointed with myself on that matter. Because obviously, you buy the grain mill... Um, I could have been processing all of those grains from the start um, but we delayed it until the best time to sell the grains and uh, then bought the grain mill so that was mm, a little bit silly on my part but I have transferred the teletruck over to the grain mill so that we can uh, pick up the pallets there. Meantime, it's the last day of March, so we need to do our March sales. We bought this thing. 
um, which is the TLX 2020. And I also bought the um, liquid tank for it as well, which allows us to transport uh, milk and water and other liquids. Uh, hmm. That one. Yes. Oops, I don't need to uh, leave the engine running there. So I'm kind of thinking I don't need that little blue low loader. So that will repackage. It's actually an auto load box. Um, generally trying to avoid auto load functionality, at least for now. Maybe later when the farm gets huge, we'll make a larger um, use of it. But we'll do things somewhat manually at this point. Put our crates in the back, we'll have someone... Oh! We'll have them loaded into boxes or they'll just vanish because on the forks. Now I don't have a lifter down at the um, uh, bakery. We did buy the bakery as well. So once I started getting the uh, um, the flour created I figured yeah I might as well get the bakery as well because it, it's another level of uh, profit from our grains. I have spent oops a bit of time watching that's annoying. Much easier to pick up when half the uh, half the boxes are gone. So yeah, what was I going to say? Um, yes, I have been watching a lot of Maze Plus um, videos this week. It might be possible to add it here. Um, the issue is really going to be how many cows we have. We are not pretty much. I'm pretty sure we are not going to be able to support 700 cows um, with my. Oops, let's not put it on the roof. With uh, the Maze Plus cow feeding schedule, that's just going to be way too much to cope with and that's really not playing nicely is it there we go um, but we only have 30 cows I did buy another 15 so we have 30 cows on the farm now which means we are producing a fair amount of will milk I could get the dairy um, but we're a little short on cash right now so we're just selling the milk as is and we've added it to our perishable sales so we'll sell milk once a month um, like we sell tomatoes once a month we transfer the flour although flour isn't so much of a perishable the bread is so we might as well since it's on the way do the transfer I do want a skid steer for the farm. 
that much is uh, uh, definitely apparent. Um, I think skid steel would work, work better on the yard because um, we're going to be using it. Yeah, we're, we're moving bales and the tally trucks a little bit. Um, Oh, what's the word for it? unstable when you uh, load it up with uh, bales? Also checked out Derriere's um, uh, what is it? He he did a video on uh, maintenance costs of vehicles, and obviously the cheaper the vehicle, the cheaper it is, but to maintain. But he said really, it doesn't matter if you clean your vehicle or not the paint wears faster the vehicle maintenance does not get more severe if you don't clean your vehicle so uh, that's one thing um, he also said that if you oh, I'm all over the shop if you use a tractor that is not sufficiently powerful to haul the equipment your penalty comes in well you can only run the vehicle at two miles an hour so to do the task it's going to take you longer and that taking longer is going to directly translate into a higher service maintenance bill it's not going to be where the heck am I going <sighs> crazy people um, that's me talking and thinking three steps ahead of where I should be tomatoes are here and piglet supermarket maple exports where is that I think that's over here, yeah. Okay, I guess I'm going there. Sadly, because of the auto load features of this, um, it's not, uh, I can't carry multiple uh, things in the back of it, it's one thing at a time. But we're going where we're going. So, M. Patchwork, good morning. Welcome to Saturdays. So, yes, as I was saying, cleaning your vehicles isn't important on maintenance. Um, it's important if you want your paint to stay in a good condition. But since paint wears out, variably depending on the vehicle you're driving, um, I t tend to like the uh, worn and torn look of... Uh, at least the uh, grain carts that we're using so not inclined to repaint them and um, if they get more worn out and if, if their paint wears out faster then hey that's a thing too um, we have established that um, vehicle repair costs are directly related to the original purchase cost of the vehicle so if you have, it doesn't matter if you buy a used vehicle, it's based on the original purchase cost. So you have to look at the at new price. This would seem to indicate that buying a second hand tractor, or sorry, buying an old model tractor is actually beneficial because it's cheaper. And I'll show you that in a second once we get this on the unload spot so 
for example, we go to medium tractors. Uh, that's 170 horsepower, 97,000. The 7810 is 99,000, so they're about the same price, five horsepower more. The 7710S is base model 175, so 145 for the 175. So comparing these two together, um, base model of the Massey Ferguson, 175 horsepower. So they're as capable as each other. This one's a little bit slower, um, but you know, doesn't matter. This one will always be cheaper to maintain because the purchase price is 99,500 where the purchase price of that is 145. Now, realistically, in 2022, you're not likely to find a pristine condition 7810 with zero miles on it or zero hours on it. So it's slightly unrealistic in that matter. But if you've got a choice between buying this and buying this and functionally you just need the 175 horsepower, buy this one because the price it's going to be cheaper to maintain. Okay, we got paid. Let's go fetch the bread, I guess. Um, I'm going to drive around the uh, store so that uh, the bat signal disappears. So, yes, yeah, so that's, that's kind of where I'm going. Obviously, if you want to play realistically and have GPS and crop sensors and all the rest of it, you should probably get the 7710S because it's a new attractor and has provision for that stuff which obviously a 7810 would not have but yeah it depends how you play it so as I said I kind of think I need to get some sort of lifting device here but for right now uh, we'll ask the people who work here to help us load the uh, bread into our truck. There we go. Oops. Doink the doors on the side. So bread production is incredibly slow. Um, thus yeah, we're going to be selling what we made last year for most of this year um, consequently I'm not so concerned about getting the best price just so long as we get income now and obviously the price we're getting is way more than the best price we would have got for um, selling the grains go 3,000 so we're gonna to have to move into April to do our planting and I'm thinking probably we'll go with sorghum and part of the reason for that is it can be used as a pig food and we can send it down to the flour mill to uh, turn into uh, bread over time. So, double bonus there. It doesn't produce straw. Um, and the other field we have is canola, which also doesn't produce straw. But we have tens of thousands of litres of straw, so I'm not too fussed about not having straw for a while. And we could always do a harvesting contract for wheat, barley or oats and uh, use the straw from that contract. Dude, what are you doing? It's not like I'm driving that fast. So yeah, I think I got this truck new, the box and the tank. Um, just because it makes it much easier to transport stuff around than using the Land Rover. Or I'd, I'd, I'd actually, I'd have to use a tractor to uh, shift the flour and all the rest of it. Plus, 
as I said, the cows are starting to produce a lot of milk, so I kind of need the tanker as well. Having the tanker means I can run down to the, um, the lake down here and fill up with water for our greenhouses. We are producing an absolute ton of both manure and slurry. We don't have any spreading equipment for either. However, what I'm considering now is when the greenhouse runs out of um, solid fertilizer, we will just load that thing with manure instead. Since we own the flour mill, we're going to have to provide service equipment here. I may want to get a small um, tiny gas tank so that we can keep this thing loaded without having to drive it around. We might need to get ourselves some servicing equipment, whether that's a toolbox or a field servicing trailer. I'm not too sure which way I want to go with that yet. Um, seems to be a couple of, or a few more. supplies here so what I think I'll do is we'll grab that see if another one spawns and grab the spawny as well there we go I think typically I'm getting eight or nine crates a month, so uh, I can only really do that one time. Two if I'm thinking ahead. And the truck takes 7,000, so um, yeah. Oops. That one's off center, so I'm not going to be able to grab a second if there, even if there is one. So that's four in the back. Oh, there's a few more than I thought there was. If I, uh... So store sales, that could be a nice thing to have. It does um, solid fertilizer and lime. However, I'm really looking for basically a lime spreader. Um, and that is 3,900 unless you cheat and do the 10,000 model. So it's a little bit small for what we want, but it's a good price. There's an M7 which again is not bad for a sort of a tractor that falls between what we have, but I'm not looking for a tractor in that range right now. This is awesome, but needs 300 horsepower. So, um, not gonna buy that. That's good. It's 380 to 400 horsepower. It's possibly what I'm looking for in a big tractor, but again, 159,000. I don't have the cash for that right away. 
And then we've got this manure spreader, 22,900, um, what's the horsepower requirement? 200 horsepower, so our tractor could cope with it. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely something we could think about getting, considering we have that field that we're going to plant next month. I could put a ton of manure down on it and... Uh, Oh, no. So I forget how much is on the back of the truck, but uh, reminds me I should put the vehicle um, inspector on this game save. Okay, that's all going to fit. I think that is now done. Nope, we're only at 6,000. Okay, I can't count. Grab one more box. The Kubota is a nice deal, yes. But like I said, I mean, our, our sort of current big tractor is 247 horsepower. Um, and I'm actually finding the 125 Massey is capable of doing quite a lot of tasks around the farm. There's some things that are way outside of its capabilities, but running the mower, running the tedder, running the um, the rake, running the baler even, all of those it's good for. So I don't need anything in the M7 range at the moment. Okay, I will put this over here. Probably. Oh, that's that goes out into the woods, so that's fine. So we'll need to take all of those down to the flour mill, and there is another thousand liters of flour to spawn. So. I think we'll do two trips down to the uh, the bakery, and that ten thousand liters of barley is the last of our grains from last year's harvest. So uh, that's a good thing. But yeah, I mean, obviously, the the rate at which we're making money is it's good because we're making money every month because of the bakery and the tomatoes. Um, the bad thing is it's not a lot of money every month. Um, we'd have done much. You know, I, I'd be much happier if I'd sold all the grain for money. Because that would mean, hey, I can buy a nice piece of equipment. The downside is, we're playing on hard mode. And really, it, there's not a lot of income to be made. We need a lot of stuff to, ex to, uh, to make the money. And so, quite frankly, we kind of need to consider more buying land and using what we have and upgrading equipment as we're able to let's try and keep a constant speed they seem to be doing about 50 kilometers um, yes yeah, so you know buying equipment expanded equipment as we need it um, or as we can afford it and because we've got the series 7 um, I honestly don't know. I think that's down to stream. Uh, down to steam is not. Yeah, steam is 480. There's. I, I checked it last week. There's nothing wrong with my. Um, oh. With my OBS. 